What is going on everyone? This is Sarah coming at you from just outside of Hartford, Connecticut. And today we are going back to 2002 as we discuss the Drew Blood Cell trade, which occurred on April 21st of the aforementioned year 2002. Now, why does this trade make any sense? Why does it matter? Why am I discussing an 18 year old trade? Simply put, the Buffalo Bills acquired quarterback Drew Bloodsell from the New England Patriots in exchange for a first-round pick in the 2003 NFL Draft. Drew Bloodsell, for those of you who don't know, for those of you under 25 and any Boston fans, because Boston fans aren't real fans, uh, Drew Bloodsell was the Patriots' starting quarterback. He was the first overall pick at some point in the 90s, and he was a solid quarterback. There was nothing wrong with him. But, uh... Basically, what ends up happening is this: he gets hurt in the playoffs, and this this unknown sixth round pick, uh, his name was something like Thomas Thomas Brady. Yeah, Tom Tom Brady. That sounds right. Ends up taking over the team and guiding them to playoffs and or guiding them into a Super Bowl victory. So the Patriots, rather than have quarterback controversy, decide to deal away Drew Bledsoe to save money to the Buffalo Bills. And Buffalo obviously gave up a first-round pick because Bledsoe was still a big name at that point. So how did you Bledsoe do in Buffalo? He actually had a career year in 2002, but Brady didn't have a horrible year either. So it just kind of came down to, okay, maybe we're getting ourselves a good young, you know, okay, well, we got a draft pick. Now we'll see what happens with the draft pick. But uh, Drew Bledsoe had himself a career year in 2002. After 2002, he had a pair of decent seasons in 03 and 04 before becoming just a cap casualty and he was cut by Buffalo. Uh, he did make one Pro Bowl. That was, of course, the 2002 season. So decent, decent pickup for Buffalo in a trade. Now, the 2003 first round pick would become the 14th overall pick. And New England would actually end up trading the 14th overall pick along with the 193rd pick to the Chicago Bears to move up one spot, 13th overall, in the 03 draft to select defensive end Ty Warren. So Warren, he was one of those underrated unknowns. He had a very productive eight seasons. Now he did miss one due to injury, but he had a very productive eight years in New England. And like I said, he was constantly just underrated. Nobody really ever mentioned him. He was never really a, a pro bowler, but he was good. He was a one-time first team all pro during his career in New England. Now, Chicago, with those two picks, the 14th pick, they would also go defensive end, and they went with a defensive end named Michael Haynes. And Haynes was a very quiet depth piece over three years before being cut. In other words, New England got the better player by far. Now, the 193rd pick ends up getting traded, along with the 176th and 218th pick to the Jacksonville Jaguars in exchange for the 143rd, which Chicago would use to select wide receiver Justin Gage. And Gage had a solid four years in Chicago before leaving the team. Wasn't spectacular, but he was a solid player. Now, Jacksonville, with their three players, they would select with the 176th pick, defensive end Brandon Green. And Green only appeared in three games over two seasons for Jacksonville before being cut, mostly due to injuries and then just poor play. The 193rd pick was used to select offensive tackle Marquise Ogden, and uh, Ogden did not appear in any games for the Jaguars, and the last pick in this trade was the 218th selection, which the Jaguars used to select. I apologize if I've mispronounced his name. Malafo, fullback Malafo McKenzie, who played in one game but did not record any stats for the Jaguars. So all in all, Jaguars got nothing. Bears got next to nothing. Patriots got themselves an underrated defensive end for eight productive seasons. He was on the Super Bowl winning team, two Super Bowl winning teams. And the Bills got themselves a Pro Bowl season out of Bledsoe. So it's kind of tough to declare a winner in this trade because while there was only one Pro Bowler, Warren was very underrated for the Patriots. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. That was the Drew Bledsoe trade again. And uh, have a great rest of your day.